Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm painting Dorian from Zombicide's Green Horde. So since this miniature was mostly red on the artwork, I decided to go with a dragon red primer from Army Painter. And then I used the red tone, uh, which is an ink from uh, Army Painter as well. And I do this where everything is going to be staying red so that later on I can do highlights. And this just pops the red a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to use Electric Blue, which is another paint from the Army Painter. And this is actually one of my other favorite blues as well in their color line. And I'm going to use this on his uh, crude dress, uh, so that later on as well, when I put the wash on, it will come darker like in the artwork. So if you guys like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe and like, and also follow me on Facebook at Easterlings Gaming, Instagram at Rob the Easterling, and of course on my YouTube channel, Rob the Easterling. Uh, you can see more pictures, uh, detailed pictures, of all the minis I do paint. So since that red tone is dry, I'm going to move on to Succubus Red, which is a D&D &D Nolzer's Marvelous Pigments Paints from the Army Painter. And uh, this is just going to highlight his uh, robe, or his cloak, uh, just to give it a little bit more. And again, I notice it's not very much lighter, and when I do uh, the stronger tone later on, I think it's known oil I use again, uh, I go over all the red, and it actually comes out really nice. Moving on to his skin, I'm going to use some Corpse Pale by Army Painter, and I'm using this on his hands and his face. Now I accidentally put a little too much on my brush right at the beginning and it blobs like crazy in his face, but I do come back and remove that excess paint before it dries and it turns out really nice. And now we're going to use some mummy robes, which is also from the Army Painter. I don't even know if I have to say Army Painter every time. You guys are starting to see the bottles. <laughs> uh, so this is for his undershirt uh, that's underneath his cloak or his crew dress. Uh, it barely shows the difference between the skin, but later on with the wash it comes out nice. And I accidentally hit his hood, but thankfully I can just put a little bit of red on top and touch that up. Okay, here's something I don't usually do. I'm using a Citadel Paints Contrast Black Templar on a dark primer. Uh, I wanted to see what it did, and you know what? It gave it like a leather brown look with the red coming through a bit. So later on, I do actually use some, um, I think it is leather brown or some other brown I use on some of these things as a dry brush kind of thing uh, to pop out a little bit more of the details on like his satchel and his belt and all that. And his boots come out looking really nice too. I was actually quite surprised. So I might use some contrast colors in the future on darker um, primers.
So I noticed his sword in the artwork was like a golden yellow, so I decided to use this tainted gold, which is a metallics color from the War Paint set. Metallics colors <laughs> from the Army Painter. And it goes on nicely, but later on I will dry brush something on to give the top part, which is a little bit more yellow, just that more of a yellowish look to it. Uh, but this is nice for uh, this kind of sword. It looks like a magical sword, different than your typical uh, claymore blade color I usually use on swords. Now I'm going to use some Weapon Bronze, which is also a metallic color, but not from the metallic colors uh, paint set. This is just from their basic range. And I'm going to do all the trim of his cloak, as well as uh, the sleeves on his blue uh, robe as well. Uh, it gives us a nice little finishing touch to the robes, and it looks really nice. Now normally I would use uh, some uh, wood color, whatever it was. Now I'm going to use Saigor Brown from Citadel Paints. It's a contrast on the staff uh, because the Wildwood, sorry, that's what it's called, is not usually this dark and I want it a bit darker. And this uh, Saigor Brown came out really nice on the staff and I do some dry brushing later of a different kind of brown to make, again, the details pop a little bit more because the red was still showing a little bit through. So here's where I use some Vallejo model color yellow ochre and this is to dry brush onto the sword to give it a more yellowish look but the um, metallic color still comes through which is nice and that's what's an advantage of dry brushing. Now I'm using a zombie side invader paint set from Army Painter Rigid Brown and this I'm going to dry brush on the staff and that's going to get just the top parts of the staff none of the, the, like none of the cracks and stuff just to give it a nice dusting and it gives it a nice olden staff look. I'm going to start finishing off this miniature with some flesh wash, so of course this goes on his hands and his skin where I used that corpse spell before, and that's from the Army Painter. And I'm going to come in with some Citadel Shade, Nuln Oil. Uh, this I'm starting to like a lot. It's very similar to Army Painter's Strong Tone, but I find this goes on a little bit better, dries a bit faster, and gives me the highlights I actually really want when I'm looking for uh, more shadowy effects. And you'll notice now I'm going over the red again because I didn't like the, the red just didn't come out the way I wanted it so this darkened it a bit more and the highlights do show again anyways even though I did them underneath and everything else just comes out really nice looking on this mini. And I'm going to use another Vallejo model color called Flat Green instead of using uh, Commando Green from Army Painter so this one actually came out a little bit nicer for the base uh, because of the red and I actually don't do a uh, any kind of basing to this guy, I just want to do green because uh, green hoarders a lot of outdoor stuff and that's what most of my bases are going to be in this set. So that is Dorian painted up looking really good. There he is next to his artwork. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, like and get notified by hitting that bell. And thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more videos.